Hi, I'm Bo Grzeski, and today we're going to be exploring Google Drive and Team Drive. This is an app and a website that could be used to help you create, store, and organize your files in your Google Drive. Here's how to get started with Google Drive. So Google Drive is a place where you can create, store, and organize your files in here. On my home screen, you can see all my folders and any loose files that I have available. If you want to move and try to organize any files, you could select them one at a time and drop them into other folders. You can also highlight a couple and put them into a folder. Or you could just create a folder from scratch. You're going to find you're going to be able to create anything by hitting the blue new button. You can make a new folder. You can upload an entire folder such as off your H drive or another directory. You can create files directly within here and other additional apps and tools that you can make. So I'm going to make up a new folder. I'm going to call it test video and just like that. And then maybe I want to put this one in there. Now it's a little hard to get these a little bit organized. So I'm going to right click on it and I want to change the color. Maybe I want to make it stand out. That's a little bit hard to see, but if you change your view into a grid view, you could see them standing out more and you also get additional information. Going across the top, you also have your settings by clicking on your cog where you can download your drive. What I like to do is I check this box. It just makes Microsoft Office files work a lot better. And in case you have an area with little to bad Wi-Fi, you could check on that and that will let you work offline. The cozy compact or comfortable, that just creates the spacing in between the files and the names here, how much space or info that you can have available. And another thing that you can do is view your items off to the side here. My recent, these are files that I had just opened up. Shared with me entail, uh, entails a lot of files that you have from all over uh, the district. Let's say anyone that you've shared it with or they've shared it with you. You can upload your photos to be started in there. Your start are the documents that you use all the time. Let's say this was a file that I used all the time. I could right click on it and I can add that star. And now it appear in an area where I was used. And you also have a trash area. Um, it gets deleted, but it stays in here. The only way to delete it forever is to right click on it and delete it forever or restore it. You do have unlimited storage in your Google Drive. So fill it up with as much stuff that you can. In the past, when we had things to be shared, we would click on a folder and you can hit the share button here and you could uh, copy this link and email to people. You could adjust the settings depending who you want to have edit right access to. When you share that folder, it would then appear in that person shared with me. I find a much easier way now is to take advantage of the new team drive. Team drive kind of takes out the middleman of accessing your shared with me and then right clicking on it and saying add to my drive. What you can do now is with a team drive, we can make up a new one, say for this video, and I'm going to quickly create it. And it just becomes a lot easier to share things with people I find. Because all you have to do is hit the add members up here and they would have access to this whole thing. So you can uh, create maybe a team drive for your department at your school, or maybe you want to have a team drive for the whole faculty. Or maybe your students are in a Kagan group for a while and they find this could be the easiest way to share with them. And all you have to do is just type in their email on that line and think about what access do you want to give them. Full access allows them to create and delete. You probably want to have as few amounts of people to do that as possible. Probably want to give most of your team members edit access, but maybe you want to share it with another team or a teacher and they want to have common access. Or maybe just some people need to view it. You decide what level that you want to give them. You can give a message if you like, and then send away. So my email, uh, I just received an email, give me a notification about it. So that is Team Drive and how you can share and how it can help you out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.